What's up guys, PPD here, and welcome back to another episode of Duck Life 9, The Flock. Before we get started into this episode, we are going to read our daily dose of Duck Life 9. Our first thing to note is that the 10,000 coin duck that I was looking for at the end of last episode is actually the first duck over here on the left, apparently. So, let's go ahead and talk to him really quick. But if you're interested, yeah, it's pretty much this guy, Matthew. I do offer a race coaching service if you want some one-to-one -one training. Please. Ideal. I can start at 10,000 coins per session if that works with you. Actually, before I say sure <laughs> to this guy scamming us, um, speaking of coins, I was looking for those three coins that were missing here in Sunflower Ravine, and I can't find them for the life of me. I went around everywhere twice, and I can't find them. So I'm not sure if it's bugged or, or if the coins are invisible. But I can't find the three last coins that we need to have 100% completion. So I'm not really sure what to do. What I might do actually is watch uh, someone else play the game. And see if they get the coins. And I maybe didn't go to that area. But I've pretty much gone around this whole map. And I haven't seen any coins. So I don't know what's going on with that. So yeah, let's talk to him. Say sure. And see what happens. No one's actually had that much money before. What do I do? I, I can't accept all those coins. You'll have to find another trainer elsewhere, I'm afraid. Darn. That's it? That's all he says? I thought something special was going to happen. Well, that's boring. But yeah, as you can see right here, we have 100% in everything, uh, except obviously Volcano Town because we haven't gone there yet. But we're missing three coins in Sunflower Ravine. And I have no idea where they are. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, let's go ahead and go to uh, Volcano. Whatever it's called. Volcano Volcano Town. Uh, our other piece of daily Dose of Duck Life 9 is that apparently I did 30 episodes of Duck Life 8. And those were 20 minutes long each. So if I want to beat that in terms of length I would have to do 21 episodes of Duck Life 9 assuming I keep doing 30 minute episodes which I'm going to be doing so I think we're going to beat that because what is this episodes 18 19 and we're not even like 80% done with the game so we're definitely this is definitely going to be our longest Duck Life series to date which is expected considering this is the biggest Duck Life game to date so that is something of a fun fact I guess for the channel and uh, also, if for uh, whatever reason you're a mobile player, apparently Duck Life 9 is now available on mobile, which is, I guess, pretty cool. Because I don't know if there's ever been a Duck Life game on mobile. So, pretty cool that they released it for the mobile players. But yeah, we are here in Volcano Town. Let's see what people have to say. I'm so close, yet so far. What's up? I've been working at the Featherhaven Tournament Circuit for weeks now. And now this lava stream is between me and the final tournament center. It's so frustrating. What should we do? I've managed to find a bucket of water. If I pour that onto the lava, maybe it'll cool down. I don't think that's going to work. But then again, it might just explode or something. I'm not crazy enough to try. I'll do it. You will? Yeah. Wow, I respect it. But I'm not just going to hand over this bucket of water for free. I sense a race. Yep. You'll need to race before it. You ready? Always. Okay, so our first race in Volcano Town against Misty, which I guess makes sense because uh, she's got the bucket of water. Holy crap. Look at those levels. <laughs> 87 running, 86 swimming, 85 flying, 70 climbing, 68 jumping. Oh, uh, no, wait, I'm, I'm reading my stats. 83 climbing, 85 jumping, 75 balancing. And, okay, there is no way we win this race, but uh, let's give it a shot, I guess. I, I don't see how I could possibly win if none of my stats are better than hers. But, uh, I mean, I guess if I really want... Oh, we do have the grades, probably, but I don't know how much that's going to help us, honestly. Uh, it's helping us so far. Man, getting the grades up to S was probably the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> okay, I want to use Smash. 
Come on, use the smash. All right, well, we won the race. Uh, largely in part to our grades, I would assume, because she definitely had the levels on us. Let's see what she... Oh, she's going to give us the bucket of water, which we're going to try and dump for the lava. If that works, uh, this game has defied all laws of physics. Oh, we got Dazer... Days radish seed, I think that's how you say it, or days radish. Nah, I feel like it's days radish. Maybe I'm wrong. She wants to join the flock. She does seem like a pretty cool duck to have in the flock. You're not just any old racer. You're awesome. Good luck putting out that lava stream. I've got my feathers crossed for you. Thanks. All right. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Poor water. It worked. Uh, I don't recommend trying that in real life because it won't work. But uh, it worked in duck life. <laughs> the lava has cooled and you can now safely walk across. Nicely done. Alright, so now we can get these coins. We can talk to this duck who's also going to want to race us. Let me just grab the coins. Wait, how do I grab that one? I gotta go around here. Alright, let's go. Another race. Hey, pal. Hey. I pro I'm probably the fastest racer you'll ever see. Really? Yep. I don't know how fast I am. Sure. Get this. You ever see a duck run so fast they can run on water? You can do that? Well, no. Oh. But if it were possible, I'd be fast enough for sure. Want to see how fast I am in a race? Absolutely. This guy's got a nice tattoo there. I'm all jacked up and ready to go. Guess uh, it's because his name is Jackery. I wonder if it actually is possible to run so quick you can run on water. I mean, the Flash did it in the show. <laughs> okay, so this is a pretty close race. Okay, we have a nice lead here, though. Oh, it's so nice that the grades carry us, so I don't have to do more training. There we go, two for two on the day. Got to remember to plant these seeds that we're getting once I go back to the base. All right. Only coins for winning that one. All right. It was nice of me to let you win our race, wasn't it? You didn't let me win. Shh. Keep your voice down. I never lose on purpose, so don't go spreading lies about me. It's true, though. Look, do you want a rematch? Is that it? Best two out of three? Yeah, sure. Is he actually going to race this again? Oh, okay. Uh, I can't right now, now you mention it. Oh, really? Yep, sorry, pal. Whatever. Sore loser, that jack guy. Alright, let's talk on another race. That guy's got a t-shirt. I don't think I've seen any other duck with that. This place gives me the creeps. How so? The dead trees... The deserted houses. I mean, pretty much everything here is scary. Why come up here then? I'm visiting my uncle Mambo. <laughs> he's a bit strange, but he's got a good heart, you know? He must be around here somewhere. Good luck finding him. Alright. Whoa, buddy. You look pretty sporty. I am. Nice. You got any, you any good at races? I'm the best. Wow, me too. I'm the best at tennis, but I'm pretty good at races too. Shall we see who's the best of the best? Let's race. Oh, his name is Ace, like a uh, tennis ace. Okay, that was terrible. I feel like you have to time the smashes. Okay, we might have to use a, a cheer here. 
Because that smash set us back a little bit. <laughs> There we go. More coins. All right. What else is there? Whoa, you're made of strong stuff. I was going all out in our race, but you showed me some true speed. Nice work, thanks. I reckon you could even take down the tournament here if you put your mind to it. When you're in the right headspace, there's nothing you, can, you can't do. Good advice. Alright, let's go left here. We still have to go right. I know there was more stuff on the right. But uh, let's go left for now. Ooh, there's a dragon. Grr, Drake the dragon. Rah! You are not welcome here. <laughs> Be gone. Um, okay. Guess we gotta come back here later? <laughs> oh man, I always... There we go. What does this guy have to say? Uh, you see this gaping... Kazem? I, for, I forgot how to say that word. I've seen it before, but I forgot how you say it. They call it the death hole. Lovely. I was trying to get a look to see how deep it is. I dropped my tournament ticket down there. Looks like I'm out of the tournament now. You could go and get it. You did hear me say death hole, right? You'd have to be crazy to go in there. I'll go in there. You have to be crazy. <laughs> if you get it, you can keep it for yourself. Want to go down now? Absolutely. Nothing like going into a death hole, you know? Who doesn't want to do that? Alright, what is this? We're skydiving pretty much. Okay, we have to avoid the lava. Hopefully, it doesn't get too quick because we're pretty much dead if it speeds up. Oh god, not the fireballs. Ah, uh, ah, uh. wait, yeah, I'm supposed to fall in the water, right? <laughs> this ticket gives access to the Volcano Town Tournament. All right, so we have our ticket. We are now able to enter the tournament. Don't know if we're going to be doing that this episode, but we are set. Now, is the tournament down there to the dinosaur, or is it somewhere else? I wonder. Is this like a secret? No. Let's go. Oh no, the tournament's gotta be right here. Yeah. So, what the heck? I'm stuck. I don't. I don't want to enter the tournament yet. I guess they're forcing me to. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could have used the map to travel back here, but whatever. I guess we'll just enter the tournament. See how we do. Send out our best ducks. Walter and Erica. Quacking champions. Let's see. Can we do it? It's going to be tough because uh, the levels. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to skip this cut. You join us for quite a slow news day today as we only have one headline to report. A super rare duck racing trading card has sold at auction for a record price. The card featuring racing legend Doris Dewdrop sold for 5 million coins. Why would anyone pay so much for a card? Anyway, it's now time for the... Oh my quack! Sorry folks, we just had some breaking news come in. The volcanic activity we reported on a few days ago has suddenly increased the dangerous levels. Does this mean the volcano is about to erupt? We might find out soon as we head to the Volcano Town Tournament, just as the races are about to begin. Fruit Flop, please stay safe out there. Yeah, what a great idea having a tournament in the middle of a volcano eruption. Oh my god, those levels are insane. I don't think we win this, guys. <laughs> maybe, though, maybe. Should I use a cheer? I 
mean, we're still in first, but I'm not confident with our lead. And I don't think finishing second would be the end of the world, but... Go on, go on, go on. Go on, Pip. If you're just tuning in, Pim is the front runner with Jiggly trailing closely. Meanwhile, we find Flappy and Pippin struggling to keep their place. Uh oh, energy's going down. I see the finish line, though, Pip. You're almost there. You're almost there. I might have to give him an apple. I might have to give him an apple. Yep. Oh my god. <sighs> Close one. Definitely was getting second if I didn't give him an apple there. Alright, let's see what we can do in the next race, though. With, uh, who is this? Walter? Oh, man. Another close one, it's looking like. Those two took the shortcut, but we're still in first. Yeah, I keep forgetting to uh, level up the energy, man. I gotta do that. Should be easy to do, because we can just buy the seed. But, uh, yeah, I keep forgetting to do that. You want it, man? Okay. Walter, things are looking good, but I'm going to have to give you an apple here soon. We could test our theory, though, to see uh, what happens if we leave him with uh, low energy. Oh, no, 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 she's catching up, or he's catching up. God, can this race end already? I only have so many apples. Oh my god, no. Oh, we're going to finish second. Just because I was greedy with the apple. Actually, oh man. I think if I cheered again there I might have been able to sneak into first all right okay we can't make the same mistake with Erica if we have to we have to give her apples although she has a lot more energy than Walter so maybe she'll she'll be good Oof, the flying. Oh my god. This is one of the closest uh, tournament races we've had in a good while now. Down to the wire. I'm gonna give her an apple now. Oof, climbing here. I think he's got his beat on climbing, so I'm gonna have to do that. Alright. That should be enough to win the whole thing. I don't know if we want to do the champion race just yet, though. I mean, we'll probably win it. Hmm. I guess we might as well do it. Feathers ruffled the Volcano Town Tournament finishes with Quacking Champions taking the accolades. A brilliant performance throughout the tournament by Quacking Champions. Quite the webbed feat. Alright, what do we get? What do we get? We get Jelly Coin Rocket Head and a thousand coins. Ooh, I kind of like that. Rocket Head? Hmm. Let's do the champion race. I don't even know who we're racing in the champion race. Hello?
I'm clicking on it, it doesn't let me do it. Okay, guess we won't do it just yet. Oh god! What was that? Uh oh. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that actually did kind of scare me. It was so out of the blue, like I knew something was gonna pop out. Who the heck is this guy? He looks pretty cool though. Fire duck. Finally, a worthy challenger. Come to my castle if you dare. Okay. Um, I guess we'll do that. But hold on, I just want to talk to some more people here. So we didn't race this guy. Where are you going, Pip? Oh my, I love rocks. Cool. Not a fan, huh? Nope. Well, I'm not racing you then. Oh my god. I only ever let rock lovers race against me. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> That's so. What's the best type of rock? Uh... I'm a big fan of Igneous Rocks, honestly. Correct! Oh, because of his name, Ignacio. There's nothing quite like the Igneous Rocks found around this volcano. You know, searching for rocks has massively augmented my physical capabilities. Would you like to race fan versus fan? Sure. Uh, let's make this quick, Ignacio, because we have a fire duck to race as well. Pip crouching it here. Love to see it. Let's use a cheer, why not? All right. What do we get from Ignacio here for winning this? We get ourselves. Coins. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and look at the rocket head. Because I want to see how it looks on uh, someone. Look who it is. The biggest rock fan I know. Fancy hearing a fun fact about rocks? Sure. Nice. Did you know? That rocks are a tasty alternative to chocolate? What? Yep, you can just pick them up and eat them. You definitely, definitely can't. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh. That explains my tummy ache, I guess. Yep. How did you not break your teeth? <laughs> Is what I'm wondering. Alright, um. What was it? We got something cool last episode as well. I forgot what it was, though. Was it an outfit? Or was it a hat? Motocross jacket's actually pretty cool. Uh, rocket head. Let's give it to Walter. Hmm, looks a little interesting. Wing cap. The top hat is really nice. Oh, we, we got these Icarus boots. Should probably put some shoes on uh, Walter. Boost his stats a little bit. The hat looks cool on Pip, but I think I should get him a better hat for stats, but whatever. I've lived up here for years and it's rare that we get visitors. What's your business here, little duck? I'm a racer. Oh yeah, we've got a little tournament center thing here. I forget about that sometimes. We'll get it set up for you if you can't find it. Thanks. That's okay. Yep. So, been watching any good TV shows lately? Not really. Hmm? Me neither. We don't get much signal up here. Alright. Yeah, something to do with the volcano, I think. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, nice talking to you. You too. Alright, so there's the, the exit. I guess all that's left is to race the fire duck, right? Oh, wow. I thought it was just going to take us straight to the race, but I guess we got to do some more walking here. Uh, let's go left here first. Grab these coins. What does this guy have to say? The fire duck has been observing you for a long time, little one. He has a terrible fear of defeat after last time. Fair enough. The fire duck has tried hard to halt your progress from the shadows. But somehow you overcame every obstacle in your way. Until now. I can swim through the water as if it's not even there. No one on this entire island can swim as fast as I can. All thanks to the power of my magic water droplet. You're not getting near the fire duck because I'm going to crush you first. Let's race. Alright. Let's see how scary this guy's stats are. Oh my god, he was not joking. He was not joking. Level 100 swimming. And an S tier. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get smoked in the water, pretty much. Um, the question is, how much water is in this, this race? Mm, that's not good. We might have to double cheer just to get a good lead. Oh man. There's a lot of water in this. That is not good. Okay, we're gonna have to cheer again. We might have to give him an apple. Oh my god, his writing is insane too. We might have to do some more training before our uh, our race with the fire duck because I don't think this is going to be enough. Maybe we save the fire duck race for uh, next episode. Get the magic droplet though. It's pretty nice. I can't believe I lost. Still, it makes no difference. The fire duck is going to make a mockery of you. He's only ever lost one race and it haunts him to this day. What happened? It's none of your business. Come on, you could tell me. Hmm, I guess you've earned it now. You've defeated me. The fire duck was just minding his own business in his old volcano. When suddenly, this other duck takes a detonator and... Kaboom! This duck blows up the entire volcano. So the fire duck goes to confront the perpetrator, and the fire duck loses in a race against him. Since then, he's been desperate for a wrench against tournament champions, so he's not going to show you any mercy. Interesting. Okay, you know what? I think we're going to end it here, because we still have some more exploring to do before we can even race him. Like, we still have to go here, talk to that duck, get those coins. So what we're going to do to end off here is go back to the flock we're gonna plant those seeds because uh we need those seeds we need those seeds um for the quest not the quest the tasks <laughs> quest task same thing uh which is the days of radish over here so let's go ahead put those seeds in there fill there we go now we're gonna grow some of those Let's see what we can upgrade now that we got the magic droplet. Level 7 well. That is interesting. Oh my god. It's like turning into a volcano. <laughs> Alright, let's upgrade the costume shop. Oh, we're running out of gold again. So we're only going to be able to upgrade a few things here before we're all out. Uh, we'll upgrade the hat shop, I guess. 
What else? What else? And the shoe shop. And we don't have enough materials to upgrade the stage, but we'll do that in the next episode. But uh, yeah, that is going to conclude this episode of Duck Like Nine, The Flock Guys. We made some pretty good progress this episode. We went to uh, look at uh, Walter with the, the little, uh, what was it, a rocket hat or something? We made some progress here in Volcano Town. Next episode, we're going to race the fire duck. I'm going to have to do some uh, training, though. So we are good enough to win against him. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. My name is PBD, and I'm out.